Alrighty, another project. Uh, today I am working on this custom shower system manufactured by Moen that will have uh, four body sprayers, three volume control valves, handheld and of course regular shower head and as the last feature thermostatic valve which allows us set the temperature to our preference and then keep it that way each time we're showering uh, without additional adjustments needed um, so uh, of course I'm starting from uh, all the valves everything that will be inside of the wall um, in this case we're dealing with a Moen thermostatic valve uh, model S3371 designed to be used only with a three-quarter inch uh, water lines uh, so this is a unit that we have over here I'm already working on it preparing uh, to installation uh, another item that will be covered in the wall uh, we have three volume control valves one for handheld one for regular shower head and one for body sprayers model S3600 also designed for uh, three quarter inch fittings and uh, another uh, interesting piece that uh, Moen is manufacturing uh, will be uh, uh, this uh, additional uh, tee for sprayers that uh, saves us a lot of work is really nicely designed uh, but this sprayer will be attached over here here are uh, extensions for a pressure balancing loop to be attached so this is pretty nice design uh, making uh, my work a little bit easier and cutting some expenses regarding the fittings but uh, here the uh, model for that is S1300 Raffin for body sprayers and uh, we will have four of those regarding volume control valves I have one over here this is the volume control valve already working on it to kind of prepare it let me see if I can remove it yeah so so this is rough in for the uh, volume control and uh, once again this is the model and thermostatic valve uh, rough in for the body sprayers so those are first things that I'm focusing on uh, how to start of course uh, First of all, I'm starting from nicely measuring and fi figuring out where I want the uh, sprayers to be attached. This will help me design all the additional piping needed because uh, many of the pipes later will go on top of those brackets. Those are mount brackets for the uh, roughing for the sprayers that comes with the kit. So uh, we can nicely adjust uh, positioning. Uh, right to to our preference it goes like that inside and then just slides to whatever position we need very interesting and we will have four of those so I'm starting from this because later there will be several pipes that will have to go on top of the brackets will be too late to mount, the, mount those later of course I'm following all the instructions regarding depth how deep in a wall uh, uh, everything's supposed to be so when you be doing your installation keep it in mind so later there will be no problem with installing final trim pieces final fixtures so yeah so assuming nice planning nice leveling how the uh, sprayers will line we have to figure where the valves are gonna be where volume valves will be and of course have enough room to pack all of this in this space so planning is a, a bigger part of the success in this case if you have everything nicely planned later installation should go pretty smooth what I will do I'll be taking pictures uh, of each step I'm taking when putting this system together and uh, you'll be able to see what goes where and uh, how it's supposed to be done of course manufacturer uh, includes the manuals for that but I know sometimes those manuals might be tricky to read and understand so it's always good to see actually everything in action and how it's done in real life versus on a piece of paper so just follow up with me 
and I will be giving you an update uh, along the entire roughing installation uh, for the mowing shower system with a handheld body sprayers and regular shower head. So this is it. Quick update, i um, been working here on this custom shower system since morning. Um, yes, we have all or actually most of the fittings already in place. We have uh, hot and cold water supplied to the valve, the thermostatic valve. Then it spreads to those three volume control valves and then here it connects to the our pressure loop pressure balancing loop and the other one it's still to be continued here through this stud to the handheld that will be over there um i would like to finalize but this part would like to do all the soldering uh, right now because i have some holes to drill later here and here I don't want any uh, debris to fall on the solder paste on joints that are not completely finished yet. So I'm going to proceed with the soldering all those fittings here. There's no solder yet. I mean, it's still to come. It still moves. So, so this is another step. Um, we'll give you an update later once this part is done. Of course, here we have also the center volume valve going to the main shower head, which I will extend later. Um, I'm about to do final soldering. Um, I did most of it uh, yesterday. Right now, I am already have all those uh, remaining lines uh, figured and kind of pre-connected. Uh, this arm here, this is the, the volume control valve that be turning on and off the handheld. It runs over here to the corner of the shower. Um, and of course, uh, regular shower head, I already have this extended from this volume valve to the shower head. So I have some uh, soldering still remaining. I'll be working on it right now uh, and uh, later. Uh, I will put back all the valves, uh, uh, cartridges, uh, I will couple the um, sprayers and we will perform water, water tests of course but at this point uh, like I said most of the soldering been finished it's not an easy job we have very tight space uh, but it progresses just fine and uh, we about to be done with this uh, plumbing and uh, slowly start covering the wall with the boards and later with the tiles.